Hello, it's Marek here and welcome to episode 120 something of Photoshop Lightroom TV, your video podcast about anything Photoshop, Lightroom and photography at the same time and Adobe Bridge as well from time to time. What I've got for you this week is a video tutorial on Photoshop. I'll be using Photoshop CC, obviously on Creative Cloud. I want to share with you is changes that Adobe made to upscaling images. Some really, really good changes. Something that might be worth getting on Creative Cloud or upgrading your Photoshop, especially if you do a lot of this work. For example, I've got this image here which is a very low resolution image as you can see because I'm currently at 100% view I'm just going to switch to my to some 100% view that's the actual size of the image so it's less than no more than 15 or 1600 pixels on the longer side and if we check the image size dialog box it's 72 ppi it's 1200 pixels on the longer side okay <coughs> so for example let's say you get some old photographs and you're going to scan them and you want to print them now no matter how good your scanner is you'll be limited by the resolution and when it comes to printing you will want to increase the PPI the resolution and the dimension of the Im dimensions of the image as well and that's why you, it gets a bit more complicated because you will be losing some quality obviously and you may see some pixelation and so on so for example, so what I'm going to show you is two ways of increasing the resolution, the size of the image using Photoshop CS6 and earlier and Photoshop CC. Well, I'm using Photoshop CC but I'll show you the old way and the new way. First, what I'm going to do is duplicate the image so we can compare these two images at the same time. So I'll just go to image menu and then duplicate. Okay, This will be quote one, I'm going to call this one CC, so know which one it is. Well, you're going to see which one is which. Click OK. So I got two, the original one and the <coughs> CC version. I'll start with the original one. And now I'm going to increase the size and the resolution of the image the way we used to do it up to Photoshop CS6. So I'll go to Image Size dialog box, Image, Image Size. Okay. We'll increase the resolution. I'm going to increase it to 300 ppi, the print resolution. So I'm quadrupling the resolution of the image from 72 to 300, or even more than four times. And I'm also going to increase the size by, well, so let's quadruple it. So we'll go from 1200 all the way to 4800. Now, first of all, something you may have noticed is that now in Photoshop CC, for the first time, you get a preview in the image size dialog box. A very nice new addition, so you can see exactly what's happening with the image. And you get a 100% preview here. And now in Photoshop CC, you can actually resize this dialog box. Very nice new feature. For the first time, you can make it bigger or smaller. Right. For resampling, what you would use up to Photoshop CS6 was per cubic smoother which used to be the best option for enlarging images so that's what I'm going to do here and I'll click OK and that's what the image looks like it's still 100% view it is much bigger right now and I'm not sure you can if you can exactly see that on the video on the tutorial but there's quite a lot of well the quality is not that good it's quite poor, especially around the edges here. And even if you look on the hills, the trees are not sharp at all. So let's give it another go with the second image here, with the new way we do it in Photoshop CC. I'm going to use the same image size dialog box. So image, image size, exactly the same place. I'm going to increase the resolution to 300, like I did earlier. And I'm going to increase the width to 4800. So the same. But then for resampling, I'm going to use preserve details, which is new in Photoshop CC. And even here in the preview, you can see how much better the image looks. 
Also, when you use preserved details, you can reduce some noise if there's an existing noise within the image. Not in this case, so I'm going to click OK. It will take a moment, because Photoshop needs to calculate how to upscale the image. We'll still get the, these artifacts around along the edges of the image, but look at the previous one and this one. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but on my computer screen I can clearly see a big difference, really, really big difference. This image is so much crispier, so much sharper, it looks so much better than the way it used to be up to Photoshop CS6. So this is Photoshop CS6, up to version CS6, and this is Photoshop CC. So you can see how much better it gets, how much better quality you get with the new way the images uh, can be upscaled in Photoshop CC. Maybe one feature that would be they would they could transfer you or recommend upgrading to Photoshop on Creative Cloud. All right, that's what I wanted to show you this week. This was the video that I want to share. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulajic from saitraining.co.uk, Adobe Certified Training based in the UK. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again in the next episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV, your video podcast about anything Photoshop, Lightroom and photography and bridge related. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.